So in this example, you OK, Kayla? I'm tired. All right, in this example, um, what I kind of explained last class period was going over all this information, but we went over this information with linear equations. And I told you guys we're going to do the same thing. The only difference is now we're just using our functions. And you guys all have a copy of your functions, right? I gave everybody a copy of the functions. And I have the answers up online, so you can go there. It's also on page 100 and 101 in your textbook. But the main important thing I wanted to drive home to you is a regular function we always graph within all x. We're graphing for all values of x. Whereas piecewise functions, we're constraining the values of x that we're going to graph for. So you don't need to be perfect, but we just wanted to kind of get an idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to graph both functions on the same set of axes and then constrict them based on their constraints of the piecewise function. So the first graph, absolute value of x, which I look over here, so I see there's a graph, there's the parent graph of absolute value of x. So I will just sketch absolute value of x. It looks something like that. Then I go and look and I see sine. Okay, sine looks like this little squiggly. It actually goes between 1 and negative 1. And it just looks something like this. Again, guys, I'm not looking for perfection of your graphs. We're just looking for the general idea. All right? Now, these are graphs for all values of x. There is no constraint on the domain, right? It keeps on continuing. All values of x that make these functions true are graphed. The piecewise function is saying, yes, I want you to graph absolute value of x, but I only want you to graph absolute value of x for x values that are less than 0. So now we need to go and remember, well, which values is x less than 0? Well, at the origin, it's 0. Here's 1, here's 2, here's negative 1, here's negative 2. That's really not an intercept there, but call 2 right there. So for the values where x is less than 0, because here's the x-axis, for the values that x is less than 0 is going to the left, right? So that means all the part of the graph that's where x is positive is to the right of the y-axis. Yes? So all I need to do to satisfy my piecewise function is just erase the positive portion of my absolute value function. And then also it says it's less than, so therefore I need to use an open circle. So that's what the piecewise function is, less than 0. Looks just like that. It's part of the graph. Then this says sine of x, but only for values that are greater than 0. Well, that means all these negative values are not within the constraints. So now I'm going to delete or erase the negative portion of the graph. But it says greater than or equal to, so that means I need to fill that dot in. And therefore, that's what your graph. That's what your graph will look like. All right. You should either have a sheet of paper out or your homework out when we go over homework. 